after weeks and weeks and weeks, I'm back on YouTube. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker review and this is for the Sakai Nike LD Waffle. So before I get into the video really quickly, as you know if you follow me, I have been off my YouTube channel for over a month now. I've just been procrastinating, lazy, etc, etc. I've copped loads of stuff. If you follow me on um, Instagram, you've probably seen all the stuff that I've been copying anyways, but I just haven't got around to doing my video reviews. I did a little poll saying, should I do one video showing everything that I've copped over like the last month or so? Or should I do some quick little reviews? Most people said do the one big video, but I did that last time and it kind of didn't go well. So I'm going to try and do maybe a bunch of little ones and maybe a big one that encompasses the rest of the stuff that I can't be asked to do individual reviews for. But I thought I'd do this one right here for the Sakai because it's a super dope shoe. So let's get into the quick review. So this is a pair that I luckily was able to cop. It comes in your standard uh, Sakai box. Same as it does for the Blazers and the previous pair. Um, this colour here is black and white. It's got another word in between it, but I don't know what that means, so I won't mention it. I got this in a UK 10, which is the size that I get for waffles in general. So open these shoes up. And boom! Here's the shoe in all its glory. As with before, it is your collaboration with Sakai. Made up of two different shoes, the LDV and the Daybreak Waffle, which is comprised to make this, this shoe right here. Which is why you got like double everything going on in this shoe. I mentioned it before in my previous review. It's crazy because a lot of the stuff makes it look a bit weird and obviously exaggerated. The heel you just can't look past because it just sticks out. So crazy but you kind of learn to live with it and the shoe is just so fire. Especially in this colorway. I would love the grey pair as well but I ain't paying that big bucks. So I'm probably not going to get that pair. But yeah, um, first of all start with this net on the shoe. Toe box is made of this like sort of mesh, which is super clear and see-through. So what socks you do wear are going to make a big deal if you wear some pink socks. The pink's going to super show through. If you wear no socks, it's going to look horrible, so don't do it. Uh, side of the shoe here, you've got double swoosh action going on. You do get a little bit of a funny look with the overlapping of the swooshes here. Kind of makes every pair look a bit fake, but it is how it comes. Back of the heel here, it's got Nike and Sakai. The uh, medial side is exactly the same again. This pair comes with some spare laces, which are grey laces, but in the shoe itself it has white and the black pair. In my OG blues that I picked up, I took out the grey laces. I've only got one pair of laces in them. While it does look cool with the double, it's a bit of a hassle to tie and looks a bit funny when you tie it. Uh, doubling up again, it's got double on the tongue here. One says Nike Sportswear and one behind it says Nike Sakai, a very nice touch. Inside the shoe itself has got a grey insole with Nike Sakai. Obviously you've got the two double soles from both of the previous shoes. The black waffle sole. And that is pretty much the shoe. It is super lovely. Like the colourway is just dope. If it didn't have the crazy double swoosh just in this colourway, I think it would be a banger anyway. It's maybe be a cheap shoe that everyone could cop, but collabs, it always goes crazy. But yeah, love these shoes a lot. As I said, I want to get another colorway if I can. The quality on it is pretty darn good. But I hear, because I haven't worn mine a lot, I haven't worn mine I haven't worn this pair at all. As you see, it's still DS, but my other pair, I haven't worn it a lot. But I hear that this bit gets very dirty quickly. So after each wear, you need to wipe it down. So keep that in mind. But yeah, end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick review of this sneaker. Uh, you're going to see more of it on my feed. So check me out on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers. I'm out. Let you go.